Hello and welcome everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today I'll be playing the first episode of Babur, titled Pearl of the East. This is the Two Sword campaign featured in the Dynasties of India DLC. Let's go ahead and get started here. Allah gives and Allah takes. I fear that I do not have much time left in this world. Yet, I cannot complain. My life has been an adventure. And for all my humility, I believe it has been extraordinary enough to be written about. You may accuse me of vanity, but I have decided to write the book myself. It should be good literature, after all. I dined with fine emirs and caroused with simple peasants on moonlit steps. I waged wars and sat on thrones only to lose them again. And it all began in the maelstrom of intrigue and bloody skirmishes that was my beloved Transoxiana, the melting pot of Persian high culture and nomadic traditions. To the east of Samarkand, my father ruled the fertile slopes of the Fergana Valley. Like all heirs of Tamerlane, he was a proud Timurid who sought to imitate his great ancestor. Unfortunately, Allah had not blessed him with a knack for warfare. After a few humiliating defeats, he decided to devote himself to his other passions. Eating, drinking, and rearing pigeons. One day, as my father was climbing the stairs to check on his birds, Allah, in his infinite wisdom, decided that this model of gluttony had waffled on the earth for long enough. Halfway up to the dovecote, the stairs collapsed under him, and he fell to his death. And that is how I, Babur, came to be lord of the Fergana Valley. Yet, like all transitions of power in our culture, it was not to be a peaceful one. Thanks to my dear mother, Kutluk, my bays agreed not to abandon what surely appeared to be a dynasty in shambles. But my devious uncles were another matter. At that time, I was just a 14-year-old boy with nothing to my name, and my uncles, who had long desired the Fargana Valley, thought that my inheritance was ripe for the taking. I guess the valley must be the Pearl of the East that they're referring to. Our main objectives are to hold off the enemy Timurids until morning breaks and the sun rises. Ooh. The fortified tower in Babur's camp must not be destroyed. Babur and his mother Kutlug must survive. Our hints tell us that Babur and his followers are restricted to a population limit of 150. You can construct docks and siege workshops, but you do not yet have the means to train war vessels, gunpowder units, or trebuchets. So we're in the Imperial Age already. Your cowardly opponents have gathered around your town to attack you under cover of darkness. Hold on until the night is over. As soon as the morning dawns, your enemies will withdraw and you can start establishing an economy. The residents of Samarkand are not your enemies. Focus on defeating the hostile Timurids who rule the city instead of harassing the peaceful townspeople. Rumor has it that the Uzbeks, who have also cast an eye on Samarkand, it could be assumed that their impressive army will not behave peacefully for very long, but it would not be wise to provoke them prematurely. Several indecis indecisive Timurid princes may possibly be persuaded to join Babur. Visit the emirs in these camps when the, the time is right. Lots of stuff going on here. Your scouts report that Babur in Orange has inherited the Fergana Valley from his late father. The principality is fertile and wealthy, but poorly secured and could quickly fall victim to an enemy attack. In the center of the map is the time-honored Timurid capital, Samarkand, the Pearl of the East, in purple, which is currently under control of a Timurid emir who is no friend of Babur's. The camps of several opposing Timurids in red are located within the city walls of Samarkand. These opponents mainly trade infantry and crossbowmen. Three indecisive Timurid princes in gray camp in the vicinity of Samarkand. Babur may be able to win them over to his cause and make powerful allies this way. In the northern steppes, the Uzbek clans have banded together under their leader, Shabani Khan, in Sion. He commands a huge army of steppe lancers, mounted archers, and siege weapons, such as trebuchets. 
All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Men sneak around in the shadows of our walls, my princess. Shall we get the boy to safety? These cowards snuck up in the dark of the night, but there is no need to fearfully hide. Hold our position until dawn, and the sun will reveal the faces of these scoundrels. Alright. That's the first wave gone. Here's another wave. Let's meet these guys outside the walls first. Oh, we almost lost the tower there. One more ram hit would have taken it out. Gotta take extra care not to lose our prince here. All right. Just oh. as I expected. Morning's here. Some of your greedy uncles were among the attackers. They are not worthy of ruling glorious summer camps. And since they failed to seize our homeland, we will now take theirs. Right, let's get a monastery and a university because we got so much wood here. It's a stone pile that I'd like to use to grab castles in short order. Uh, I don't want to wander too far north here because that's where Teal is. And we don't want to preemptively Much provoke them. If you trust in the ally your own strength. But it cannot hurt to have loyal allies by your side. Yeah, I'm not gonna go any further north in this. Let's do chemistry. Train a single monk just for healing and future relic gathering purposes. Let's send the next few to stone here. Kutlug is really strong, by the way. She has 18 attack. Uh, currently, my priority number one is to get a castle online. Why aren't you auto healing? Please auto heal. Well, Bub War is pretty good against uh, Cavalry himself. That's pretty. That's pretty strong, actually. He 
He's far from invincible, but he's quite strong. Let's send him in this direction to see if there's anything over there. I have no troops to spare, Papua, but my people report that the Uzbeks construct siege weapons in a nearby camp. I would rather see these powerful devices in your hands than theirs. I'd rather see them in my hands as well. Okay, let's walk up and see if we can capture some of those. Get a sixth miner here. Get some more housing online here as we ruin these guys with our hit and run tactics. I noticed that these guys are labeled simply as Uzbek scouts, so they're probably not aligned with the main army. Let's get some reveals on stone here, or on wood rather. Want to get a castle off ASAP here. Notice this other stone pile nearby as well. We're done mining the stone. Let's go ahead and grab it. Okay, we'll retreat from the tower for the time being. Let's have you guys build some stables. Keep training bills. Heal up with our monk. Let's grab plate barding armor, archer armor. Pick up crop rotation as well. Start producing light cow. Castle online. I'd love to get conscription. We can start uh, mining gold with these bills over here. Especially now that they finish mining the stone. Let's pick up a market. Ooh, I'm low on wood now, in fact. Let's have these cav take care of that tower. 
now the enemies are starting to flow through. Good thing we have a castle here. Let's grab conscription. Awesome. I really want those trebs. We need to be careful though, because we probably won't be able to rebuild any of our, our own trebs afterwards. Kind of low on gold here. Let's grab a few more gold miners. Well done, Tiger. And the trebs belong to us. With these trebuchet. Happy to hear that. Let's finish scouting this area. There's berries here. Think about a secondary location to build a town center. Anything good? Doesn't look like it. Let's build some archery ranges. Four of each should be good for now. And let's go over and get these berries all the way over here. Reconvene at the castle. I think I need more food here. There's gold to be had up here. Let's get a TC up. We can finish building these military buildings first. Oh, are these guys just avoiding our castle now? That's not very nice, is it? I worked hard to build that castle. That won't do it all. I literally just built that castle expressly to keep the riffraff off me. I guess some of them are still heading in this direction. I want to pick up heavy cavalry archer next. Ah yes, the Tatars get uh, two sheep per town center. That's one of their bonuses. I remember they had a sheep related bonus. Just couldn't remember what it was. Oh, 
Hazır derhal bu Raymond. All right, heavy cavalry archer incoming. Let's get some more Keshex online too. Let's get some more Hussars online. Alrighty, you can start rolling these trebs out. Think about picking up siege engineers too. Is there anything across the bridge here for us? Let's uh, let's send a scout in this direction. See what there is to see over here. That is a castle. Let's finish off building our housing. Grab siege engineers. Think about getting the elite Kashuk tech. Alright, there are greys in this area. Ooh. The young tiger with both Tamalanes and Temuchin's blood in his veins. Very well. Bring me ten white horses. And we shall form an alliance following our traditional custom. Okay, that's five horses. That should be ten horses right there. Let's pick up Elite Keshek. Is nice and well upgraded here. Let's pick a town center to protect those villagers at the front. Here is some gold piles that I'm sure we'll be able to capture soon. That's two horses. We need to protect these tributaries with our lives, pretty much. We have burned one of our enemy's camps. If we destroy the remaining ones, Samarkand will be under our control. Let's retreat these trebs back until we need them again. For now, we'll focus on consolidating this territory that we just captured. Oh, 
Oh, there's a relic up there. Looks like it's fiercely guarded. Stone piles here too. So we got lots of ways to get stone. There's two horses here. Even more gold piles in this area too. I see that you can be relied on. Ten splendid white horses, exactly as a free. Come, hence to we ride under the banner of the tiger. Your father is not exactly a religious man. You care more for pious people, Babu. Then bring me a holy relic. Hazard. Alright, there is a relic right here. So let's uh, take this opportunity to kill these guys off. And secure that relic for our friends. Fighting from the bottom of a cliff is suboptimal, especially considering that we're tatters. Uh, there we have it. Let us pick this relic up and place it in the Keelan Monastery here. That should be our third ally. There's a relic up there too. All right, well, things are looking good now. Samarkand features pretty heavily in a lot of campaigns. It's, uh, geographically, I guess, it's in the middle of a lot of places, right? So, makes sense. Let's move our trebs up here. And another monk so that we can steal that relic. Allah must love you greatly if you manage to find this relic and bring it to me. My dervishes and I will stand by your side in the coming battles, Babur. Well done, my boy. Two influential Timurids have joined us. Skill diplomacy is as good a weapon as a sword. Sometimes. Alright, I'm not too concerned by crossbowmen. Now we have some allies on the front here, which is great. Oh, Tarkai, don't throw your life away, man. You have so much to live for. I'm 
We have cornered these rats! Destroy the last enemy camp, and Samarkand will be baboons! Okay, one more castle remaining here. This place is mayhem. Oh, that's a lot of gold right there. Any more stone piles to be captured? Yes, there are stone up here. All right, the castle's down. Let's retreat our trebs. I cry, pride, and happiness. Samarkand, Tamerlane's dearest bride, is back in the hands of a true Timurid. And this man of honor is you, my son. As delightful as it is to watch these duffed grunt children of Tamerlane slaughter each other, it is getting a little boring. It is time to put an end to this juvenile I see your anger, my son. But it is good that the Uzbeks are so haughty. Reckless opponents are easy to overcome. Alright. Now we can begin staging into attacking the enemy heartland here. I think the important thing is to not accidentally trigger these guys earlier. Yeah, if I, if I went further north here, I'm pretty sure I would have triggered our opponents. That would not have been good. Hello. As it is, we'll push in from the north while our friends try to hold the line elsewhere.
Uh, dodge these enemy trebuchets. While setting up our own. Someone got defeated. Oh, that ram almost got the hit in. Oh, there's another ram! Oh! We can't let these treb down, we gotta protect them well. Cash X are serving as a good distraction. The ramps are coming from that siege workshop in the west. We should try to make sure that those guys get eliminated in due time. Awesome. Trouble's repaired, so now we can send it back into the battle. Let's start busting down that castle in the corner over there. Wow, these villagers are getting taught a brutal lesson here. I've got nowhere to run. And these siege rams are not being of much help. Even our allies in yellow are starting to do pretty well for themselves.
Hmm. Doesn't really even seem to be too much in the south here. I think we actually have already destroyed the core of the Uzbek base. They're starting to... Yeah, they're starting to commit suicide now. Shaverny Khan's men are like blaze of grass. We're one force. Another. Good. The tiger has shown his clothes. Mark my words, Buck. We will meet again. All right. That was nice. On a moonless autumn night, we overcame the walls of Samarkand. The city's merchants and dignitaries were thrilled to receive me and praised my sense of justice, as they had heard that I did not tolerate looting among my soldiers. Yet when Shaybani Khan returned in the spring and Uzbek soldiers blocked the trade routes, their enthusiasm quickly evaporated. Before long, a famine broke out in the city. As the weeks wore on, more and more of my men left Samarkand under the pretext that they might catch a few sheep outside of the walls. None of them were ever seen again. In the end, I realized that I had to gamble for my survival. With my last loyal followers, I snuck past the besiegers during the night and sped towards the Fergana Valley to procure provisions and reinforcements. When we reached the valley at dawn, two riders came bringing terrible in my absence, one of Shaivani's generals had made himself the new master of Fergana. I felt like my father must have when the stairs gave way under him. I had stretched my luck too thin and lost the land of my forefathers to the invaders. Unfortunate. Seems like we're definitely running an underdog story here, kind of like the Cumin campaign. All right, let's take a look at the map here. Mm, we didn't really miss much. We crushed everything by the end. I think the important thing is to not wander too far north here and trigger teal too early. If you do that, you're in for a rough time. Make sure you gather your allies and get control of Samarkand first. That's my recommendation. Anyhow, uh, that was a fun mission. My name is The Clever Fool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.